So speaking of uh, uh, keeping people happy, that's what Tamara Shoemaker does with her Cyber Patriot program. Uh, she works with a lot of uh, grade school students and teaches them how to be cyber savvy and then hopefully exposes them to the possibility of having a career in cybersecurity. But take it away, Tamara, and fill in the details. Sure. So for folks that don't know, the Cyber Patriot program is a national program. It's actually international. There are a couple of countries that are also doing it, but it started here in the U.S., down in Florida 16 years ago. And we started out with eight teams, and now they have gone up to past over 6,000 teams that compete nationally. Um, they go head to head for a season from October until um, March. And in March, they have the only time that they actually are head to head and actually see each other and actually flown into the Baltimore area to go to the national. And we were very fortunate this year. We had a team from Plymouth Canton uh, go to nationals this year. They didn't place, but they did a really great job since they were one of the top 12 teams in their division uh, across the mm. country. So I, I'm pretty excited about that. You know, we've been doing I've been doing this for nine years. This is the first time we had a team go. Um, I think that that's going to continue because of the sort of um, those teachers that are involved in it, that have been involved in it since start uh, or close to have got that much um, knowledge now, right? It built up, you know, they built up their their knowledge, they built up their teams. And so I think that we'll have uh, folks going to nationals on a regular basis here, um, just from some of the feedback that I've had about sort of, you know, how how our teams are doing. And so it's been really, it's, it's been a labor of love. Um, but it also has a cyber generations uh, a component to it, and that is a component that's for senior citizens. This is what Mike likes to talk about a lot. It's a senior citizens uh, 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 training program that they can either self-teach or some of our students can come out and talk to them about it. And you can even become certified in teaching this cyber awareness. So that's pretty cool. And then the K through 12 piece is a free piece where you can download three games and your kids can uh, learn cyber awareness through doing those games. They also have a book series that you can purchase as well that also shows them as the cyber hero as a young person learning about cyber. So that's another really good learning point. But and then um, we also have summer camps and summer camps are real important for recruiting. Right. So we work with them in the summertime. We show them what Cyber Patriot's all about. And then we hope like heck that they then go back home and say, I want to do Cyber Patriot in my school, too. And then I, um, I I I acquiesce and I go out and visit their school and explain to them exactly how to set up a team quick, quick and um, and get another team going in Michigan so that we can have everybody protected. Um, it does definitely, I've been going out this last month, I've been going out, uh, I've did to five different districts this, this last month and spoke to and did a career slash cyber patriot uh, awareness so that they could see why, the why right away, right? You know, how, what it's going to take to become a, a cybersecurity person, how much money you're going to make, what the different kind of jobs are, because there's a lot of fallacies out there about cyber patriot and what that career looks like. And it's a very holistic sort of thing. If you can, we, we, I don't know that any of us could think of an industry that isn't touched by cyber and doesn't need these mm. kids in the game, right? So um, I've been real, I, it's been nice to sort of twist that and do it a little bit differently. Normally, I just go there and talk to them about Cyber Patriot and how to, you know, how to get it embraced into their classrooms. But um, recently, I've been doing a career piece first. And then, you know, and by the way, you can do Cyber Patriot to sort of, you know, get started. Um, yeah, so since since we're it. past the Michigan team going to nationals, what's currently happening with the Cyber Patriot season? So now we're working at we're working at this part of the season is to sign up as a team so that you have as much time as you can to practice. So you can start signing up a team right now. You don't have to give any money up or, or do any of that kind of stuff or know exactly who's going to be on the team yet. But it also gives you all summer to practice and then be uh, ahead of the game in, in September rather than trying to sign up in September and then starting practice. And then the other piece is signing up for summer camps. And um, that window is closing real quick. May 1st is the window to sign up for summer camps. I normally do do uh, two different weeks in the in the um, summer, but in multiple locations at the same time, and um, mm. that's that's what's coming up next is to nail down those dates and, and go ahead and pay for those uh, summer camps. And uh, I, I, I noticed before we started recording that you were wearing a ribbon around your neck. So why don't you show folks what that is? So this is the medal that all the kids that they do Cyber Patriot in the state of Michigan, and it's only in Michigan that that's given out. Um, or receive for participation um, at our awards banquet. And so we normally have an annual awards banquet where they all get together and the top three uh, 
the th top three positions in the state, first, second, and third, in each one of the divisions, in each three of the divisions, we award trophies. They're nice big trophies, crystal trophies that they get to take and put in their trophy case at their school. And that's been, you know, very, very helpful to encourage the kids at the state level, right? Before we were, weren't, no one, no one was going to the national level and the National mm -hmm. Cyber Patriot Program only gives them a certificate in the mail. And so I wanted to make sure that they were uh, encouraged and uh, that we felt, we knew that we had these home hometown heroes here and we wanted to to celebrate them and that normally happens we usually normally do that uh that event in in the month of may has that been scheduled yet or no it hasn't and that's like sort of the big announcement for this for us this month is that time has run out um i needed to have enough funding to be able to buy the uh buy the trophies set up a venue and do all that i have a ton of folks you know sort of on uh, volunteers and venues available, but in order to be able to actually have a, an in-person event is probably not going to happen because I haven't gotten enough funding coming in. I need to have at least um, uh, $2,500 in the bank in order to order trophies. You know, they're expensive. I um, And what I'm hoping to do is that if I can get at least that much in uh, donations between now and the end of the month or uh, in May, I can order those trophies and send them to the schools and have a virtual uh, award ceremony. Now, during COVID and the year after COVID, we had to do it that way just because of the situation in the schools. Um, and we could do that again this year. And so then really the only cost is buying the trophies. And so that would reduce the cost for that. Um, and so that's what I'm hoping. But I'm also hoping that a little money comes in. I need at least five, uh, $5,000 in the bank to be able to run the summer camps and and be able to do that. And that that deadline is May 1st, right? Mm. So I have to know. And I mean, I'm asking, doesn't, money doesn't need to be in the bank May 1st, but I have to know that there's no, it's not going to not happen, right? Um, uh, so that I can go ahead and pay my bill. <laughs> You covered, uh, you know, what was happening with the uh, the national cyber uh, program and the Michigan cyber program. Um, I guess it's time now to uh, have you tell our listeners and, and viewers uh, how they could help support this program. And because it certainly uh, seems like something that's worthy of support. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, so I've been working on this program for nine months. Or I mean, nine months, nine years, it's going to be 10 years in August. Um, I think it's a worthwhile uh, 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 thing. I mean, I, I always get complimented on the fact that we're doing this and that it's a really important thing, you know, right? So showing kids a pathway, not just exposing them to something one day, but disposing them to it for a whole season and um, watching them grow and, 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 and choose STEM education as their, as their, you know, uh, their choice of careers after being involved in this. It's been very important to me, but um, I have a website. So the the micyberpatriot.com website has a donate button, so you can go ahead and easily donate. It, it takes you to face, um, Facebook, Facebook, takes you to PayPal's charity website, so it, you can see that you can, you know, that we've been vetted by pay, uh, PayPal. You will get a receipt that is you you can use as a tax deduction. Any amount is 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 great. It all adds up, right? So you know, and it, you know, it would it would add up quickly if a bunch of folks that were interested in cyber patriot and that believed in cyber patriot and believed in something that we really truly need our teenagers to be exposed to something like this. Um, teenagers and below, right? I also like to work with and would love to do a summer camp for younger kids like I did once. I told you that story about the younger kids in summer camps, right? Where they said, oh, do you know about the dark web? And <laughs> I about lost it inside, right? Going, oh my God, they know about the dark web when they're in third grade. <laughs> um, so we, we really mm -hmm. need to work on this. And I think that as a group, we can do that. Um, uh, and so hopefully you can, you know, visit our webpage and go ahead and click on that donate here and you'll go right straight to Pat. PayPal. And like I said, you'll get a receipt immediately for your donation. And then if you are in IT at all and you want to volunteer to help out with the camps um, or even drop in on a camp just to see what Cyber Patriot's all about, we would love to have you do that. Um, that really helps us uh, because we truly want to have as many uh, diverse population come and help teach or instruct or be there uh, during our summer camp so that the kids can see themselves in those positions because until we can have a really diverse population uh, a very large population uh, exposed to this kind of stuff we're not going to get the kind of people that we need right we have over what is it 450,000 jobs on the, across the country that are open in cybersecurity that they can't fill well my 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 proposal is if you, if you need cybersecurity people you need to get in the game you need to start young and help me make this happen 
Well, I guess the other thing too, now, if they work with you as interns to get to know your company and then they go move on Absolutely. up and, you know, Absolutely. then, then when it comes time for them to decide where they're going to work at or who they're going to work for, Absolutely. You know, they're, you're going to have a leg up rather than, you know, like you said, there's 450,000 openings and those jobs are any, you can have what, six jobs if you want. Right. And, and absolutely, and I get offers every day for all kinds of diverse kind of jobs in cyber, right? Because people are looking, and yes, very much so, Mike. Thank you, absolutely. This it, it makes a difference because, uh, and it's what the NSA understood when they made Centers of Academic Excellence for Center. You know, they they knew that if they got the kids in there doing their internship during their mid, between their years, their junior and senior year, that they would you know get used to the culture of working for the NSA or for a federal agency, and that they would want to continue. And so corporations absolutely need to do that, right? So they need to get in the game. They need to do that. Some folks that know that, right? So DTE is going to be helping us with summer camps. Um, they've helped us in the past with that. They send a cadre of people from their cybersecurity uh, department. And uh, it makes a difference for both ways, too. So, so the, the people learn from the kids because these kids think differently than we do. And so they learn about, oh, they think differently. Maybe we need to protect things a little tiny differently when they well, after they've been with these kids. And then the kids see themselves in these jobs, right? Right. And, and so we would love for them to be able to explain where they work and how, you know, what kind of their job is, how much money they make, all that. I have all that kind of stuff built into these summer camps so the kids can really get a really good immerse uh, experience. Right. And, and take away some really important things for them for their future. OK, well, I also wanted to ask how the book's doing. So why don't you talk about that for a bit? It's doing really good. I'm my poor husband. <laughs> <laughs> he's got you know 15 books out there and um you know this is the the 16th and he um you know it, this isn't a this isn't his 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 area of focus right so he does the c level and executive and graduate level and i asked him to do something that was for middle school and high school teachers um and so uh, he's been so surprised at how 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 popular it is and how much uptake we're getting and we've been getting a lot of uptake so even folks from the dc area have been pinging on me in these last couple of weeks about sort of uh, can we put together some curriculum that goes with it for for middle school and high school teachers um and so uh we're looking into some of that that work too uh because of the book but it's because the book is so popular and people are enjoying the fact that while it's about a standard an educational standard it's written to be very very understandable and then the standard is is appropriate for anyone so i've had folks that are new to cyber that have grabbed it up too and said that it's made a big difference in the way that they're thinking about things so that's nice i you know i'm very fortunate to be living with a with an with a with a man who's a, an amazing writer and can take really really complicated things and make them easy to talk about and, and to explain. And so that's, that's the beauty in this book is that it's easy. It's a conversation. It's not, Oh Lord, it's a standard, right. And it's 500 million pages long and a lot of government speak and all that stuff. So it's real, real nice because it's just a conversation between three teachers. And where might one acquire your book? Amazon. So you can just put in uh, teaching cybersecurity and my name and it'll pop up or my husband's name, Daniel Shoemaker, and it'll pop up. And I also give a shout out there to Ken, Ken Ziegler, our co-writer, who always has been our co-writer and is a very, very amazing kind of guy. And then we have an illustrator, too, that was a high school student that put together the illustrations for this book. Matt? Interesting. Uh, how much is the book? I was just curious. It's under $40. Okay. Yeah. But it's a manual and it's fairly good size. It's, how many pages is it? It's not, it's, it's actually quite, it's actually quite, it's we're actually quite reasonable read. It's only t just 200 pages. Okay. 202 pages. Um, and I don't know if this will pick it up, but nope, it won't. Will it? There oh, go. there we go. Oh, oh. Just keep talking. I'll stop. There we go. Cybersecurity. <laughs> and then, like I said, it's a handbook, right? So it is only 200 pages. So it's an easy read. So even people that are just getting into the area, it's a it's an it's a it's a good read for them to find out what what they should be focusing on. 